Hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys kind of like an idea, a proof of concept of um, uh, this idea that I had called modular minecarts. And I think that it's a really cool idea. It's basically a solution for having expandable storage within a minecart station. And um, what you do is you, you have a set amount of number of cartridges to begin with on a single floor. So what it does is it um, reduces the vertical spacing problem that cartridges have because um, you, you don't really want a cartridge that's excruciatingly tall in your station most sometimes. Sometimes you don't mind, sometimes it doesn't really matter, but um, this is a, a solution that I came up with for uh, taking cartridges and making them expandable. So if your station becomes uh, too popular over a set amount of time, then you can come over here and you can make one of these and just build another cartridge and keep adding cartridges on until you have a sufficient amount of space for your station or a sufficient amount of mine carts. So uh, what this design is, is it uses the basic principle of um, gravity to sort of check if each cartridge is empty or not, and or if each cartridge is full or not. And um, if the cartridge isn't full, then it takes it, it puts the cart in that cartridge. If the cartridge is full, then it will put the cartridge into the, it'll take, send the cart to the next cartridge. It'll send the cart to the next cartridge and check if that one's full. If that one isn't full, it will put the cart in that cartridge. If not, it will continue down the line, so on and so forth. So let's come over here and look at the first cartridge. All right. So we have two separate lines. We have a line up top right here which is the incoming line. This is the incoming line. So any any traffic that's coming from a previous cartridge or coming from arrivals, if this is the first cartridge in the check, um, it's it's uh, it's going to come on the top line. Okay, the top line will come across, and as long as it has sufficient speed, it will drop down into this, this first block right here. And we have this little kind of slanty booster here. It's just a resting piece of track and an inclined piece of track. It's really easy to make. It's it's not hard. The only thing that it does is it gives the cart enough speed to get into the first uh, cartridge drop because sometimes the cart would clip at the end of the block because you need to have a set amount of speed to get over uh, a drop. So um, it, it's really simple, really simple. So uh, next, next what happens is if the cartridge is completely full, then instead of... Um, this this booster dropping the cart into the cartridge it will sort of bounce off the top cart and gravity will then occur because we don't have a lot of speed at this point we need gravity's help and gravity will sort of accelerate the cart a little bit uh, up to maximum speed I guess and then uh, enough at least to get to this booster where um, the booster will take it all the way back up and we repeat the process again and if this cartridge is full we go to the next one and it's really cool so I want to demonstrate this really quick um, the uh, design is is fairly simple. It's just a curve and a drop. It's uh, something that I've been playing around with for a while now. Uh, so let's go ahead and toss a cart. I know I already know for a fact the first cartridge is missing one cart, and the second cartridge is missing one cart. I did this so that I could demonstrate sort of how it works. So let's go ahead and boost this cart in, and this should drop into the first cartridge. See, no problem. Now the first cartridge is completely full. So let's go ahead and drop another card in. Let's see, it bounces off, comes up, and drops in. And this is all done in a multiplayer server. That's why you're right now you're seeing uh, bounciness in the cartridge that wouldn't normally occur in a in a single player server. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested and you want to learn how to build one of these, you can check out my. Uh, my tutorial series on um, minecarts and if you want you can skip I believe it's episode 23 is where we start building one of these and you can sort of figure out how uh, how this works and sort of um, you know learn step by step how to build it and this one should go into the third cartridge by the way so uh, yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already uh, I'm gonna be introducing another concept I believe here eventually so um, thanks for watching.